What's going on everybody? This is Ian Robinson back with another Getting Started ZBrush for Desktop video. In this video, we're gonna talk about the new IMM foldering system and how it works. So the new IMM foldering system takes advantage of the subtool folders when creating an IMM brush. So in this example here, if I were to come on over to my subtool list, you could see in this project, I have a ton of primitive shapes and I would like to turn all of these into an IMM brush. And then in previous versions, all we would need to do is come down to the brush system, go down to create, and then just say, create insert multi-mesh. So the way you would create an IMM brush is gonna stay the exact same, except for now, it's gonna take a look at the subtool folder and folder them accordingly. So in this case here, I have a bunch of primitives. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put my cubes into a folder. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same with my cylinders and my spheres. So now that all of my subtools are in the proper folders and they're properly named, all we need to do is go up to the brush menu, go back to create and say, create insert multi-mesh. And by doing this, now you're gonna notice a small change with your IMM brushes moving forward. If we come up here at the top, you'll notice that we're given an all folder, which will show us everything that's in that IMM brush. Now we have a cubes folder, a cylinders folder, a spheres folder, and even a capsules folder. And this is now where everything resides. And just like before, when you're happy with your brush, go ahead, go up to brush and go to save as and save your brush as intended. And as you might expect, this also works on the iPad. So you can see here, I have my different subtools and I have the folders labeled as I would like. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just angle this how I wanna see that. Go into my brushes, open up my brush menu, go to create, and say create insert multi-mesh. Now if I go ahead and take a look at the bottom, you can see I have an all folder, a spheres, cubes, cylinders, and a random folder. That's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this one, and we'll catch you in the next video.